Today we are going to divide rational expressions. And what I want you to remember is that we don't ever divide fractions. Instead, we multiply by the reciprocal. Some of you have probably heard of KFC, or some of your teachers taught you KCF for like Kansas City football. Do you remember that at all? Basically, this means keep the first fraction the same, flip the second fraction, and change the sign to multiply. So we don't divide fractions. Instead, we multiply by the reciprocal. So in number 10, we are going to keep the first fraction the same. We are going to flip the second fraction. And then we're going to change the sign to multiply. Once we've done that, we now have the exact same problems that we were doing yesterday. The last time that we had class, we were multiplying rational expressions. And the strategy for this is factor, 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 and then cancel off any terms. So let's start with 5x. Can we factor 5x? We're going to put 5x down there in the numerator. x squared minus 6x plus 8. We are looking for two numbers that multiply to give us 8 and add up to negative 6. Negative 2 and negative 4. So x minus 2, x minus 4. We have now factored the entire numerator. Three x minus 12. Three x minus 12 is not a trinomial. It is just two terms, and it's not a difference of two squares. So think about what do three x and 12 have in common? What could you divide out of both of them? We could divide three out of both of them. And when we divide them both by three, we put the leftovers in the parentheses. Three x divided by three is x. Negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4. And then we need to factor x squared minus 2x. Again, this one is not difference of two squares. It's a greatest common factor problem. What do x squared and 2x have in common? 1. Hmm? x squared divided by x is x. Two, negative 2x divided by x is negative 2. Once everything is factored, now we get to play the cancel game. So what cancels? x minus 2, x minus 4. Anything else? Keep in mind that 5x really means 5 times x. So x on the top cancels x on the bottom. So what is left over that doesn't cancel? 5 over 3. Five over three. Our answer is 5 thirds. And that is, you know, just a little bit simpler than the expression that we started with. Just, just a little bit. I would like you to try number 11 on your own. Keep the first fraction the same, flip the second fraction, change the sign to multiply. If you're watching the video, pause the video, try this problem, and then play after you're done. Pause it. Pause it. So keep the first fraction the same, change the sign to multiply, flip the second fraction. The so 3 doesn't need to be factored x squared plus x minus 6, that's a trinomial, get that factored. 4x minus 8 and x squared plus 3x, those are both um, greatest common factor factoring. So what do they have in common? Pull that outside the parentheses. Once you get everything factored, x minus 2 cancels, x plus 3 cancels. 
So we are left with 3 over 4x. We are going to set up number 12, but we aren't going to finish it, and I'll explain why once we get there. When you see a fraction divided by something that isn't a fraction, can we turn this second thing into a fraction? We can if we put it over 1. So then we would keep the first fraction the same. Now that this 4x squared minus x is over 1, now we can flip it over and change the sign to multiply. You would then need to factor 8x squared plus 10x minus 3 and factor 4x squared minus x, and then cancel stuff. The reason we're not going to finish this one, I will try not to give you problems like this on your assignments or on a test, but do you remember how to factor something that has a number in front of the x squared? You have to multiply those two numbers together, and you are looking for two numbers that multiply to give you negative 24, and add up to 10. If you want to be done with the notes right now, you can totally stop the video and, and start working on your assignment. Um, I am going to go through how you would factor this, but I'm not going to give you a factoring problem like this on your assignment. This is really just kind of a review in case you're curious or have forgotten how to do this kind of factoring. So we could do 1 times 24, that's not going to give us 10. 2 times 12, if we had negative 2 and positive 12, that would work. So we take 8x squared, we split the 10x into negative 2x plus 12x, and we still have the minus 3. So I've rewritten this trinomial but I took this middle term and split it using the two numbers we came up with. Then you take the four terms, split them down the middle, factor the first group, factor the second group. Do you remember this at all a little bit? These first two have 2x in common. Um, oops, 4x minus 1. 12x and 3 have 3 in common, so it factors to 2x plus 3, 4x minus 1. So that first numerator would factor into 2x plus 3, 4x minus 1. You've got the 4x squared on the bottom, and 4x squared minus x would factor into x times 4x minus 1. And your final answer would be 2x plus 3 over 4x to the third. But again, I will not give you a problem like number 12 that has 8x squared because that's not really what I'm looking for right now. I really want to see that you know how to take a division problem, change it to a multiplication problem, do some simple factoring so that you can cancel factors. So if you see a problem like number 12, it will have factoring things more like 10 and 11 in it.